Hey guys, I'm Upgraded Rotom, aka the coach of the San Diego Pachirisus, and this week we face our opponent Nanmika and their team the Delectable Dash Buns. Last week we faced Rain, and this week we face Sun. With Torkoal to set up the Sun and mons like Roaring Moon, Sandy Shocks, and Gouging Fire to take advantage, we're definitely going to have a challenge ahead of ourselves, but this time I believe we've built a team for our victory. First up on the lineup, we've got our Incineroar here, and Incineroar is rocking the EV spread of max HP, 140 defense, 116 special defense, with the ability Intimidate, the Impish Nature, and the Assault Vest as its item, with the moves U-Turn, Flare Blitz, Earthquake, and Knock Off. And our Terra type being Fairy. For this week, I wanted Incineroar to have as much bulk as possible, so slapping on that Assault Vest will allow us to have a stronger special defense stat, while our Intimidate and our defense EVs will allow us to take some hits from the physical side as well. Flare Blitz being boosted by the sun will do some crazy damage to Ogre Pawn and their Oracorio, even their Sylveon if we can get a hit on that. We've got Earthquake there in order to get some super effective damage onto Sandy Shocks, Empoleon, Torkoal, and Gouging Fire. And last but not least, Earthquake is there in order to get rid of any pesky items like a Eviolite on Duosion or a Heat Rock on Torkoal. Next up, we've got Galarian Weezing, and this week Weezing is rocking an EV spread of max HP, max defense for special defense, with the Levitate ability, the Bold Nature, and the item being Rocky Helmet, with the moves Strange Theme, Clear Smog, Defog, and Pain Split. This set is designed in order to counteract their physical attackers while allowing us to do some decent damage back. Gouging Fire can deal some heavy damage to us with a Flare Blitz in the Sun, even at plus one. However, they don't want to take that recoil from Rocky and Flare Blitz at the same time. And if they decide to Morning Sun, then we can Pain Split to get our damage back. Strange Theme is a move that Roaring Moon definitely does not want to face. And to top it all off, Clear Smog will allow us to remove any Dragon Dance setups. After Weezing, we've got Blastoise, and this week, Blastoise is rocking an EV spread of 144 HP, 172 Special Attack, and 192 Speed, with the ability Torrent, the Timid Nature, and the item being White Herb, with the moves being Dragon Pulse, Flash Cannon, Shell Smash, and Aura Sphere. With our set this week, we'll be able to potentially set up a Shell Smash against their Torkoal as long as we make sure they don't have Yawn beforehand. And with our Speed Investment, we should be able to outspeed even like a Choice Scarf Ogre Pond. And if we can get that Shell Smash off, our Dragon Pulses are going to be doing great against their Gouging Fire and their Roaring Moon. And Flash Cannon is there in order to cover a Terra Fairy Sandy Shocks or just a Sylveon in general. Blastoise is pretty similar to the last time we brought it. Get it in, set up a Shell Smash, rock this world. After Blastoise, we've got our Raging Bolt. And Raging Bolt this week's EV spread is Max HP, 64 Special Attack, and 192 Speed, with the ability Protosynthesis, the Modest Nature, and the Choice Scarf as its item, with the moves being Discharge, Dragon Pulse, Terra Blast, and Thunderclap, with the Terra Fairy as well. If our opponent brings Sun, then that'll also activate our own Protosynthesis, as well as their Pokemon's Protosynthesis, which in our case is going to increase our Special Attack stat. With our Choice Scarf item, as long as they're not in the sun, we should outspeed everything on their team. And just in case anything is in the sun, we still do have Thunderclap for priority. Terra Fairy is a really nice matchup into my opponent's team, as even if they do end up switching into Empoleon while we are Fairy, we still have a good amount of electric moves to fight back against it. And so for Raging Bolt this week, we want to just abuse our opponent's own sun. After Bolt, we've got our Halucha, and Halucha this week is rocking an EV spread of 64 HP, max attack, 192 speed, with the Unburden ability, the Jolly Nature, the Power Herb as its item, and the moves Sky Attack, Close Combat, U-Turn, and Feather Dance. With our speed investment, we'll be able to outspeed anything that is Ogre Pond and slower. Our Power Herb along with Sky Attack is going to kill two birds with one stone, while it activates our Unburden and allows us to do some pretty hefty damage to the majority of my opponent's team. Close Combat is great for stab and doing some hefty damage to any of my opponent's Pokemon. U-Turn is there in order to get ourselves out of a bad situation. And Feather Dance is there in order to reduce my opponent's attack stat on Roaring Moon or even their Gouging Fire and stop any Dragon Dance setups. If they do switch in an Ogre Pond into a Feather Dance, the good news is that we'll lower just as much as they'll raise, so they'll stay at neutral. We do, however, have to be careful about hitting Empoleon with a Feather Dance, but even then, our close combat should be able to KO it as long as we've gotten some decent chip on it. Last but not least, we've got Deoxys here, and Deoxys is rocking an EV spread of 32 attack, 225 special attack, 224 speed, the ability pressure, the naive nature, the life orb as its item, with the moves knockoff, superpower, ice beam, and psycho boost. And with our speed EVs, we should be able to outspeed a sandy shock that's in the sun and hit it back with some super effective damage. Knockoff is nice because we can remove any pesky items and get some super effective damage onto their Oracorio. Superpower is great into their Pokemon like Empoleon and Roaring Moon. And Psycho Boost is there for some hefty damage against their stuff that don't want to take it, such as Gouging Fire and Torkoal. 
and that's going to be the team for this week. Let me know what you guys think of the team down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys once we're in the battle. All right, so we did just have a little bit of ter- We did technic- uh, Words. <laughs> we did have a little bit of technical difficulties, um, so we're just going to be re-leading with the same Pokemon that uh, we started with, and so luckily it was just- nothing happened, so- yeah, first turn shenanigans. Um, so we're leading with the same Pokemon, um, and we'll go from there. I still think the plan is the same move, just to knock off into their Ogre Pond. Because I don't think Ogre Pond gets knockoff, does it? We're about to check. It does get knockoff, which would KO us, unfortunately. But I think they'd rather preserve this. So we lead when we're gonna go for our own knockoff. If they lead, oh, I just realized I don't have them pulling on. Okay, they they're AV, so they might just knock us off as well. U-turn. Okay, we'll be able to live that. I did realize they don't have Empoleon, um, so that means we can just Psycho Boost into almost anything. Well, besides the Roaring Moon, but regardless. So I'm curious what they're going to bring out. So actually, they might be a... Oh, is this the Roaring Moon? This is. So I'm going to assume this is Scarf. And what? They're going to go for... They don't have to go for a Dark-type move. But regardless, uh, we're going to go ahead and go for Cherry Bomb here. And our Rocky Helmet should do some nice damage. If they U-turn, good on them. So this then invites out, um, Sil not Sylveon, actually, who does this invite out? I'm blanking what they had on their team for a second. This might invite out Torkoal, actually. Neutralizing Gas would have been cool here to stop the, um, oh, they just go straight into, um, Gouging Fire, okay. We should be able to take a hit, even if it's Choice Banded, and I'm going to go ahead and get a Strange Theme off. See what they want to do. Okay. And can we get a Confusion, please? That'd be great. Cool! Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and clear Smog them. Because we should still be able to live a hit. I'm going to do one calc real quick. Well, I guess we'll find out before I do the calc, unless they hit themselves. No, they can just go for another dance. Flare Blitz at plus one. Let's test that out. It's only going to be doing about 60% to us. Max. So yeah, we'll be able to live it. Because that's at plus one as well. So we just can go for another strange theme here. If they morning sun, they morning sun and they get some HP back. I am willing to sit down on this. It is also really nice that they don't have Empoleon because that means I don't have to worry about a steel type getting a, a steel type to block the. Itch. Why am I blinking? Fierce Mon. Hit yourself? Flare Blitz. Okay. Leo. Strange theme, and they might just give us this. So honestly, I'm just gonna go ahead and strange theme one more time. Because nothing nothing bad happens from that. Because we would get the KO, so yeah, let's go for it. 
Okay, we get the KO. They're probably trying to get in their uh, Sandy Shocks right now. Neat. Okay, I was actually really afraid of this thing, but I'm glad we were able to take it on. Uh, yeah, I think Sandy Shocks come in. Either that or Torkoal. It's one of the two. Krakatoa, who's that? That's Torkoal. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and Pain Split here. That might be a little bit dumb, but... I think I'm faster. Yeah, I should be faster. And they might just set up some rocks. They do, just rocks. And how much is a Lava Plume doing? Level Plume's doing about half. Um, I don't think it's bad to defog. They will away. Okay, I'll take that. Then from here. Do we want to go Blastoise? No. What do they got? They still have Sylveon and Ogre Pond and all, not Ogre Pond, Sandy Shocks in the back. Um, so Thunderclap and all that is a little rough here. Mm, I'm pretty sure it can take the Sky Attack. We'll see. Alucha, Torkoal Sunsetter. Sky attack doing about 35%, yeah. Okay, so it might just be better then to go ahead and go for Vox here. Our special attack will be boosted as well. Don't burn. Nice. Okay. Torkoal, if they... I don't think they're staying in, but I'm just doing the calcs for if they do. Dragon Pulse is only doing... Oh, this is on Blast Days. Whoops. Um, Torkoal. Dragon Pulse is doing about 62% of its health. It's at 60-ish. So that would be a nice move. If they go Sylveon, then we just switch Incineroar. If they go Sandy Shocks, we'll be able to get some nice damage to it as well. They do Sylveon. Okay, so we'll just switch into Insignia Roar. Hyper Voice is going to be doing about half our HP, unfortunately. Are they going to Terra? They don't Terra. Ooh, wait, plus one and plus one. Hold on, we'll find out now. It's gonna be doing about 70%. Draining Kiss won't be able to do a lot. And in the sun, our Flare Blitz is gonna be doing crazy damage, so let's go for it. I'm not surprised we got speed. This might be a defensive variant. It is very defensive. Ooh, we get a burn! Nice, okay. So if we if they're leftovers, that cancels out. And we should take this because our EVs. Okay. And I don't think they want to give me Sylveon. I think they want to switch out. So I'm gonna go for a U-turn if that's a bad call on my play. Uh-oh. But I think that's the play. So we're gonna go for it. Ooh, they wished. Shoot, I should have just stayed in then. Okay. What about Holy Jaw? Holy Jaw will be outspeeding everything after that. 
or after his guy attack, but at the same time, I don't necessarily want to... Could I set up a Shell Smash? No, because it's got self... Uh, not self-destruct. I think I gotta go Halucha. And I should outspeed. And we got a Sky Attack. Unfortunately. I want to do the math. What is Close Combat doing to Torkoal afterwards? Torkoal, I believe, is a little bit at half. Close Combat into... I thought she... Ugh. Not great, but we gotta go for it. Now, if this is Terra Steel, good on them. Um, Sylveon. Lefties. Yeah, we should be doing about half of its HP, so we'll be able to do a lot with Sky Attack. Um, Torkoal doesn't want to take it. I believe Sandy Shock... How many turns is on? This is the last turn is on, so even if Sandy Shocks comes in, then... Okay. They might protect here. They don't. Okay. Unfortunately, if they do, do do go Torkoal, that might suck for us. We can get a close combat off on it. While they try to do like a Lava Plume or a... They could Willow us, which would actually be really bad. So if they go Torkoal, I actually think we want to U-turn here. They go Torkoal, they do go Torkoal. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to U-turn here. Unfortunately, our unburden isn't gonna be great. Sucks, but yeah. And then... Did we just go Vox again? They, they Willow, or they... What would now be a great time to self Shell Smash? Because if they burn me, they can't... This might be a great time to Shell Smash. We'll go for it. Actually, first, I think first I want to see if they are going to switch into like Ogre Pond or something, or if they're going to yawn. So what's doing the most to Torkoal right now? Dragon Pulse would be doing the most, and Sylveon is down. This shouldn't have any form of recovery. I want to scout for Yawn. That makes me feel like they don't have Yawn. And we did get rid of their Assault Vest. That still means they're pretty bulky though. Um, we can't go into you. You'll be able to take the hit, but you're burned and there'll be rocks damage. We'll need a free switch into you. How do I get that? I really want Alistair in the back for late game sweeping. Um. How much are you doing with the Dragon Pulse? You're doing about half of its HP? What's it at right now? Oh, great. Okay, actually, you're going to be doing great because you'll also be in the sun. So, a Dragon Pulse is going to be very nice. And we should be able to outspeed it, too. Cool. 
Oh, but not anymore. Ironically, that does kind of help us a little bit. Uh, just in the sense that if they U-turn, we still get pretty nice damage onto something. We'll Dragon Pulse. Oh, that thing has Stomping Tantrum! Dang, okay. The more you know. And then they can definitely just go Sandy Shocks here. Dang, that would have been a great turn to switch into Weezing. Here comes Sandy Shots. Yep. They don't have a reason to terrestrialize yet. Um, how much can Incineroar take from this? Incineroar is still alive, right? How much is HP it's at? It's at 183. And 83 and Sandy Shocks. Its speed is heightened as well. So let's say it's the pivot version, right? In the sun. Its speed was heightened. But that's not. Um, it would be doing about half max. Oh, shoot. That is no time. Um, we'll go Blastoise. No. We'll sack you. I'm so sorry. Actually, we should have sacked Hallucha. That was actually kind of dumb. I got panicked because of the time. I thought I had a lot more time left. Oh, they do just terrestrialize. Okay, so a thunderclap would have been pretty nice there, actually. What type, though? Are they terror ground? Terror fairy. Okay, that's kind of what I thought. Okay. They do just terror blast? Okay, what if I terrestrialize Incineroar? If I terrestrialize Incineroar, I should be able to live stuff. Um, our Flare Blitz is going to be doing... This is now Fairy. Flare Blitz is going to be doing 85% damage. We should be able to... Ooh, but we'll take Rocks, actually. What about Cherry Bomb? We got 30 seconds left. Um, Strange Team is not doing a lot. They, I think, can kill us with a Thunderbolt because we're above half. And we'll take Rocks. We'll try it, though. Should I defog or pain split? Which which is more important? Oh, I just realized this thing could have flash cannon, doesn't it? Hold on, that might have been a really dumb play on my end. How many turns of sun are left? Three. And they can set up more because Torkoal is still alive. I'm gonna pain split on the off chance. Wild charge, okay. Neat. We'll get some HP back. Not terribly, not a lot. And I'm gonna go for a defog now. Ooh, a s ooh! Neat! I like that! That is sick! Okay, no more rocks. We'll still take a lot of damage from this. 
Um, they go wild charge. We don't want to take that from anything. They have one turn of sun left, luckily. Um, so then... Oh, Deoxys, I needed... Um, Halucha should be able to outspeed, and it can do... How much? Sandy Shocks. Close combat's doing 51 to 60, so that'll be able to KO it. Okay. And we will clear Smog just in case. Or actually... Do we want to go... I don't think we want to go Vox. I think we want to save that for later. Protosynthesis er, booster energy. Nice. Okay. So. We go in. We terrestrialize. Um, we won't take too much, but then what's the end game? Set up a Shell Smash on Torkoal. I think that's it. Cinemora, Jurassic won't take much. What about from like a, a wild charge? It's not gonna be taking a lot. Yeah, okay. That comes in Cinemora. There's no more sun, so let me get rid of that on here too, so that I don't miscalculate. And then, do they have anything that wants to take an Earthquake? Not necessarily. So, Earthquake is doing about 31 max. It's doing 27 to 31 max. They're at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, so Earthquake's going to be able to kill if they're not defensive. Um, and Roaring Moon might come out, but I feel like they want to get their Torkoal out first. Torkoal's decently low, so I think Earthquake's fine. This is going to be a relatively close match, honestly. I really do like that Screech set, though. We both fire off Earthquakes. <laughs> nice. Okay, now we're at 102, right? I think so. So I'm gonna put that in here. For 26%. Out comes Torkoal. Torkoal's at a little bit over half. Um, okay. We'll be able to do 32. Oh, wait, I just realized if they set up rocks, then I won't be able to use box. So I think I'm switching in you while they set up rocks. We won't be taking any super effective and then blast away by plus two. We did Torkoal. Our Dragon Pulse should be doing about half of its HP. What's Aura Sphere's percentage of KOing? 64. I'd rather Dragon Pulse. And then I just want to also check um, if we're faster than Raging or more. more ugh, I told you, words are not my wor words are not my forte today. We would be I think slower. We would be a little slower, yeah. If there's speed, but I don't remember if there's speed. And I just remembered, is this thing gonna have possibly solar beam? Solar beam would only do half to us. They will arrive, okay.
And then we go ahead and Dragon Pulse. And we hope that they don't have... Oh, they're especially defensive. Okay. You just hope that they don't have the... Wait a sec. They might be Rapid Spin. Hold on. What if we Shell Smash again? Can we survive a Lava Plume? I think we can. Uh, 230. Lava Plume in the sun at minus one special defense is only doing about 28% to us. This might be stupid. <laughs> this might be really stupid. I think that means we outspeed and win. So we're gonna go ahead and Dragon Pulse again. And if Sun is active, and it's on speed, we outspeed. I think that's the game. I think that's the game. What is it? What is it? I, actually, out, out of all of it, we outspeed. Unless this thing is Choice Scarf. If this thing is Choice Scarf, that's wild. Um, but our Dragon Pulse should KO it. And we win! Okay. Good game. GG's. That was a blast. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for the wonderful match. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.